Hello, this is the clock guy. I have a really nice Victorian crystal regulator to show you today. I wanted to show you before I started the pendulum. It is one of the original pendulums with the mercury. That is actually mercury inside there. And it was for adjusting for temperature. So as the temperature increased, the mercury would expand and raise the center of gravity for the pendulum adjusting the speed of the clock for the temperature. This is a French clock. It was made for Bailey Banks and Biddle back in the early 1900s. It's all brass as beveled glass on the sides, doors in the front and the back to adjust things. This clock was made in the early 1900s. To be that old and to be in this great condition, it's, it's really saying something. gears and everything inside are great condition. There's no wear in the pivots or anywhere. So it was really well maintained. See the pivots are in great condition. There's a nice blued gong. It says made in France. Right there it goes. Read it there. That is the manufacturer of the clock. I will attempt to pronounce it. Is a French company, Duvéché et Bluquel. You can see by this clock, and the way French clocks are made in general, around the turn of the 20th century, their their focus on aesthetics, just how beautiful these clocks are. They are a work of art. It's not hidden. They like to expose it. Let me show you. Look at what we do. Look how pretty our clock is. They are really, they are really uh, works of art. Very aesthetically pleasing. It does chime, it gongs once on the half hour and then it counts the hour on the hour. I think that'll be 10 o'clock, and that will be 10 o'clock. There you have it, an in-depth look at a French oval crystal regulator from somewhere around the turn of the 20th century. 
made by a very famous French clock maker for Bailey Banks and Biddle, a, a fine jeweler in Philadelphia. Stunning, isn't it? Okay. It's the clock guy saying thanks for watching.